My greatest inspiration is my Aunt Lori. I never really thought I was smart growing up. I had a slight learning delay and that gave me this instinctual feeling that I was never really going to do much with my life. At 15 I decided that just college wasn't an option for me. My best friend and I said that we were going to get jobs after graduation and figure it out from there. One night at a family party when my relatives asked me what colleges I was looking at, I told them I wasn't going to college. This response got me a we'll talk later look from my Aunt Lori, who had been basically a big sister to me growing up. A few weeks later, a package arrived on my doorstep. Inside the box was a copy of the Princeton Review and a highlighter with a note that said, start looking. After an initial eye roll, I opened the book. I started looking at these cool places with fancy pictures of students on grassy campuses surrounded by trees. I saw programs about film studies and radio and creative writing. I saw the person I could be. My aunt has always been my own personal role model, the person that exudes strength and confidence. She's a boss. She also told me that if I didn't believe in myself, I could fake it until I did, which actually works. But the most intriguing thing about Aunt Lori is on the other side of that coin, aside from the strong exterior, she has this soft maternal side, this perfect balance that she's able to create. She's the matriarch of our family. When there's a problem, she's the one person we go to. She has the answers to everything, broken hearts, medical traumas. She's a walking encyclopedia, a doctor, and a therapist all rolled into one. Growing up, there are so many uncertainties. You need people who are constants in your life, who are there to cheer you on, who help mold you into the best person you could possibly be. I'm lucky to have a few of those in my life, but when asked who's my inspiration, it's my aunt. It's always Lori.